This is my homemade mini metal lathe. And I wanted to make a lathe that was small enough to fit on my toolbox, yet capable of taking larger cuts, just like a larger lathe. I've had uh, 7 by 12 mini lathes in the past. They're not very rigid, not very heavy, and so I decided to make my own. This one uses a headstock casting from Little Machine Shop, as well as their spindle. And you can either use tapered, like angular contact roller bearings in the headstock, or this one is just a good quality deep groove. I think they're SKF bearings. And I've got the larger spindle, so it's got a four inch chuck. It's around seven inch swing. The cross slide is just a milling table that's been modified to fit the base. And the base is just welded together steel plates. On a Chinese mini lathe, your dovetails are about half the width of these. So you end up getting a lot of play side to side. This one just makes it more rigid. You don't get a lot of travel, obviously. You only get about four or five inches of travel, both directions. And uh, there's no tailstock, but uh, we're just in the garage, turning bolts down, making bushings. It's perfect for what I need. I have a larger lathe, but uh, yeah, I wanted something smaller. This one uses a uh, Konsu 1000, I think, three quarter horsepower brushless motor. The motor's up under the base there, it's kind of hard to see. Climbing belt to the headstock and it has a nice uh, variable speed control. Gives you the readout as you're turning the dial and it'll go it'll go all the way up to 4,000 rpm I believe. There's 4,500, and uh, because of the belt, we're stepping it down by half, so around 2,200. So it goes fast enough. It's pretty quiet, actually. You know, I usually run it around 2,000. Not too bad. I've got the uh, quick change tool post. I think that's the smallest size they make. Right there, 250-100. So let's uh, cut some metal, see how it works. Okay, let's see how this works. We've got the camera mounted directly on the cross slide, so might be a bit of vibration, but probably have a better view. We're going to be running, uh, the display is 1200 RPM, but because of the belt drive system here, it's 700. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're getting close to our final size here. I've made a few of these already, so made a mark on the hand wheel so we know where to go to. Around 1.365. So we need to take another 10 thou off. Five, five, six, pretty darn close. Let's check it with the barrel. Probably hammer that in. Take a little hair off. So we've taken off about a quarter inch in total from the inside diameter. That's pretty quick for a mini lathe, I would think. So we'll take this out and we'll move on to try something else here. Okay, so I've uh, swapped out the boring bar for the left hand carbide with quick change and we're cutting a piece of three quarter inch solid mild steel. And I've adjusted the RPM up to 2,000 RPM. And we'll just play around, take a couple cuts, so you can have a look at it. Some vibration if you take too heavy of a cut, but you know, it's three quarter inch diameter, it takes off material pretty fast for a, a lathe of its size, which is exactly what I was looking for. And uh, yeah, if anyone's looking for a good machining project, just build your own lathe. You can always bug me in the comments there, pick my brain. See you guys later.